Uh, you know, I had a, uh, three pretty rough surgeries last year, and um, I couldn't give any more credit to my trainers and doctors for getting me back on the field. And uh, at times, you know, I've wondered <coughs> what happened. Well, why did I get hurt? Why am I back here? And uh, as the season's unfolded, I found out those reasons. So. Just to kind of... What, what were the surgeries again? Um, actually, I dove for a ball and tore my left labrum. Uh, had labrum surgery and uh, broke my foot in the rehab process for that. I had foot surgery and uh, I had a big screw put in it. And then about five months after that, when I was healthy playing again, the screw broke and they had to take it out and put another one in. So it was pretty cool. John, I know you've already been asked you know, a number of times about the at-bat, but you were down 1-2 there. Are you just looking to put the ball in place? Right, yeah. Um, you know, we practice that every day. Infield in, less than two outs, move the baseball, hit it anywhere. Uh, loop it over somebody, whatever you can do to get it done. Uh, it doesn't really matter. There's a, bit, a lot of different options to win a game right there, and I just knew just move the baseball and uh, hit something in the outfield. You look like they had a wall up there that you mentally a little bit. You look like they had five infielders. You know, uh, I don't even know if I was – I mean, obviously, I was paying attention, but I don't even know if I know this that much. I, uh, all I could think about was just putting the barrel on the ball. I think there were a lot of people all around the TV and people Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of people here, too. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing my family and friends back home after this. Have you had a chance to talk to your parents yet? Not yet. I'm not there. Uh, they didn't make the trip, so I'm going to call them after this. You ready to pick up your phone and see what text you have? <laughs> yes, absolutely. John, I apologize for missing, but what coach did you kind of discuss with that, you know, did you want to go back, or what was that kind of conversation like? Um, after injuries last this year, last year? Uh, no, they took go visit uh, to be with your, uh, your family. Okay, stuff, right, yeah. Um, um, my grandmother passed away two nights ago, and uh, Coach Godwin came up to me and said, you know, so I'm so sorry, do you need do you need to go home? And I told him, you know, that's ridiculous. She'd kill me if I went home. So, uh, obviously, I stayed, and uh, she's got to be very proud what well, was going through your mind on Saturday? Yes, uh, the brother does get married on Saturday, so there's a lot going on at home right now. When you when you had that hit, yeah, I saw you kind of pumped your fist in the air. What's going through your mind at that point? Uh, big sigh of relief. You know, it's uh, obviously a great feeling, but um, I can't think of a better group of guys to continue playing with. Looks like you had it reached. Yeah, um, those two strikes. I just knew anything close, I was going to foul off or make contact, move the baseball in some form or fashion, and I'm. Pretty sure it was a ball, but it doesn't matter. Did you think he was going to get over off the bat? I mean, did you watch it? Did you stick off running? What was uh, I hit it, and I knew I just snuck it over his head. They're, obviously, they were in. But yeah. I knew it wouldn't take a whole lot. And I hit it off the cap, and he was drifting right over his head. What's your brother's name? Ben. Hey, John. You let the second pitch go through. Took a strike for the second, your second strike there. Looked pretty good from upstairs. Did you? Kind of, right. kind of nervous there when you got um, two strikes on them. Well, obviously the first pitch, you know, Coach Godwin had told me to be aggressive if they were going to try to get a strike across the plate, probably a fastball. And uh, I let it rip on the first pitch. And then after that, you kind of want to settle down a little bit. And oftentimes, you know, well, my personal experience, you don't want to swing at all speed until you get two strikes. But that one was uh, left up, and I probably could have done something with it. But. John, you and Juco, Ray, I talked about SEC for a minute. Had to help you. Had to be as a player, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That was, I went there last minute, uh, coach threw me a bone out of high school, and uh, I, to this day I still think those coaches should give me an opportunity, you know, uh, but I loved it. It was amazing, and it taught me so much about baseball and toughness, and, you know, the G-Core route's not easy, but uh, it pays off.